Hello, everybody, and welcome <laughs> to the SNM show, the Sam and Mink show, broadcasting live, L I V E, -E on the Smodco Internet Radio Network. We are broadcasting from the home of the comic book men, Jay and Silent Bob, Secret Stash. Woo! My name is Ming Chen. Sitting across from me is the lovely, the talented, the beautiful eh. Samantha Q, Samantha eh. Quintus. Eh. Hello. What are you ang over there? Eh. You, you, it's like where? one third of those. One, uh, beautiful? Eh. Lovely, talented, okay, brilliant? It's, it's like zero. I'm throwing all kinds of adjectives at you. I'm having like, oh, a good day. There, I, everybody's having a good day. I'm having a very, very good day. Yeah? Yes. What's making your day so good? This. 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 Um, I, I think it, it's this and everything that led up to this. I, I mean, I mean to quote a movie that just came out recently, everything is awesome. You're looking at me blankly. Have you not seen the Lego movie? No, I've never you seen the Lego movie. You haven't seen the Lego movie? No. Dude, you're missing out. I believe it. I play all those Lego games. Do you really? Do you, do. Do you play Lego, like, like Lego Indiana Jones and Lego Batman? Yeah, no, yeah. really? Do yeah. you really? Yeah, I played them all. Like Lego Harry Potter. Um, I just played Lego Lord of the Rings. That's... It's... Uh, you're a gamer. Not just a gamer. I'm, a, Lego I'm a Lego game. gamer. A Lego gamer. Yeah. Wait, do you play like Skyrim and... and, and no, just Lego games. And I mean, if it was like Lego Skyrim, I'd play it. Okay, so if, so the, the 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 caveat is when the, when the Lego graph version. when the graphics are a little too real, I can't do it. Okay, got to be Legos. But if it's blocky and Lego -y, yeah, if it's blocky and Lego -y and if I die, I come like right, right back. If you hold down the Y button and it like builds something, you know how you're like. Oh my god, I love that sound effect. Yeah, it's fun, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right, that's cool. Yeah, I'm like a huge Lego gamer. Well, you know the whole lovely, talented, brilliant. That's that's just you. I don't know. I don't know a lot of ladies who play Lego <laughs> I know like a million Lego Star Wars well can you point these out to maybe some of the single men that may be listening right now because uh, there you go dudes yeah there you go if, if, you're, if not, you're looking for a Lego gamer I got like at least five I can ramble off if that's not me helping you guys out <laughs> then I, I hey man I, I'm always looking out for you guys Ming so. Chen looking looking out for for the single men of the world yeah well the single men who listen to the show I don't care about anybody it's, it's else true. screw it's true. everybody else it's true but. Hello. Thank you for coming in. Uh, this It is a Tuesday night. Yes. It is not a Monday night. Um, massive shooting schedule yes. this week. A very important week this week. Yes. And why is this week a very important week? Well, we do, uh, you know, a, a VIP is in town. I'm not going to mention who we're doing, you know, clandestine. If, if, if you have a brain, you can probably figure Just out who. Just put two and two together. Exactly. Put one and one together. It's true. Even. It's true. Very important week. We're doing that. Uh, we're, we're leaving the store, going out of town later on this weekend. To, mm -hmm. You know, maybe there shoot. There you go. Nice. Somewhere else. Somewhere else. Um, let's see. Tomorrow... We were doing our official comic book man photo shoot. The I, official. This is no joke. I, I believe the photo it. photo shoot. I believe it. You guys get like serious. You do your poses. You're going to do something with your mouth open again where I always feel like like photoshopping a penis into it. Always. There's not a time you, I see that picture. You, I thought women were supposed to be all proper and afraid of penises and stuff. And you just automatically be like. I, I just like every time I see that picture, I just want to put one right there. You, I mean, how are your Photoshop? You're pretty good. Oh, no, I'm like Photoshop. amazing at Photoshop. If you did it, it would be cool. If some other dude did it, it would be weird. <laughs> I don't know. Again, this is why I podcast me. I don't know many females would be like, automatically see my official comic book man press photo from now with my mouth open, me in like a chop sake stance. Yeah. I don't know many women who'd be like, I'm going to Photoshop a cock in there. It's okay. I noticed that like, like a lot of times when I send you pictures, I do mm -hmm. that like mouth open eyes wide like oh right. i'm in shock and i realized like that's like me literally doing the same mouth as you that's oh like, yeah that sounds like yeah, weird, you do actually. it too so. that sounds like weird so every time i send you a picture feel yeah. free to just photoshop a penis i'm in not there. photoshopping just, a just penis feel, in there number one it's inappropriate <laughs> number two you have a boyfriend i don't feel like getting <laughs> beat up listen i gotta be on i gotta be on camera i cannot afford any black eyes right now true or two true yeah. True. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm not pushing mean, any penises anywhere near you. Let's just say that's <laughs> okay. Inappropriate. Fair enough. Inappropriate. But the official photo shoot is uh, we go to a, a, a location. Last uh, the last time we did it was in it was at this model studio in New York, like where they shoot like actual hot models. Yeah. And I only know this because they had the pictures of the hot models on the wall. I'm like, whoa, this is like legit. Um, you go there. They have a, like a spread, spread of food. I was gonna say, so wait, there's naked women and a, a no, spread. No, well, they, the models weren't there. It was a Sunday morning last Fair time enough. we did it. We Fair got enough. there, um, and they have a whole creative team. Oh, there. Nice. They have a whole creative yeah. team, 
And then there's this dude who's a photographer who we've worked before. Uh, I'm giving a shout out. His name is Ben Lunar. He is British. He is one of the coolest guys I've ever met. I like that's the way the first adjective you went to. He's British. It is very British. And it's funny, though, because whenever I'm talking about, like, British people, yeah. that's always my first adjective, too. It's not like you were saying, like, oh, the lovely, the talented. Mm -hmm. Whenever I'm talking about yes. a British person, I'm always like, and he's British. Beckham, is that what you say? About <laughs> like, Beckham? I just, like, I, I have a friend who's British, and whenever yeah. I tell people about him, I'm like, and he's British. Yes. And they're like, is that supposed to be... Right, and... Yeah, like, who cares? No, British is definitely an adjective. So anybody listening exactly. out in the UK, uh, we, I mean, we love you. You're very... I because love British people. I love that accent. You're British. Um, but he is I a, mean, you could be, like, the ugliest British guy with that accent. Yeah. And you'd be, like, the hottest man in the world to me. Really? Yeah. Oh, you hear that? British? British dude? and, like, Irish. I like a nice, nice heavy Irish accent. I like um, British women. Um, who's the chick from Harry Potter? Emma Watson is that her name. Yeah, yeah, she's hot. I do. I like. Her. She's hot, but like Hermione. I don't, I, I don't Hermione. Know. I don't know. She's she's young, but like I, I don't know. I also she, have like like a how serious. Young is she? I seriously crush on like Zac Efron, and he's like. He's not, is he British? No, but oh. I'm saying he's like younger than me, so it's a little weird. Is is he okay? I I mean he's I, like 26. I, it's I, not like younger, younger than me. He's just younger than no, me. I can't go too young. I was but, watching him on Bear Grylls last night. <laughs> I can't go too young, but you know, I, uh, half your age plus seven. Yeah, whoever we, figured that one out. We've talked about this before. I'm good with that. Um, so we, yeah, we'll <laughs> we'll go in there. I believe we're working with the same creative team, and I hope Ben Lunar is out there. Uh, let me give you some of his credits here, Samantha. Okay. Breaking Bad. Breaking okay. Bad. You ever seen that photo of the uh, Jesse and Mr. White in the hazmat suits? Probably. He did that. Uh, the one where they j it's a black and white face against a yellow background and there's yeah, little yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. extremely ha uh, hazardous. Yeah. He did that. He did. I think he did all five seasons of Breaking Bad. Oh, nice. Pretty, pretty awesome. Nice. And uh, he's done a whole bunch of other stuff. Shot models. Like, this guy's no joke. He is serious. And he's a comic book man. If you like I've, any of the comic I've, book man posters, he shot those. I've uh, I've I, only I've only uh, taken pictures of, of yogis. So. Yeah. You, you shot me. I once. did shoot you. You did. What do you? What, what? I'm just like thinking, like I'm saying, like I shot you, and people are like, "Yeah, shoot him again!" Like, yeah, exactly. No. You shot me. You did. We did a photo shoot. You, you, you were behind the camera. Was it just one? Yeah, uh, I believe so. Yes. Yeah, it was just one. Um, I was coming up a um, a like a, like, oh, like a jetty. Yeah. And I'm with a surfboard and a holding, very beautiful girl. There's a very, very beautiful girl. Our friend yes. Amy is to my right. Yes. We were holding surfboards and we were modeling uh, Lululemon bathing suits, active wear. Yes. Um, what's funny is you were coming from the beach and neither one of you looked remotely wet at all. Um, I, mean, well, I, was a little, I was a little wet, if you know what I mean. You know. That's so disturbing. Down, down there. That's so disturbing. Know. I'm just saying. Um, you know. Well, clearly, because I had your feet in the water at one point. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, you shot me. So uh, we'll be, yeah, we'll be doing that. Um, we have somebody, if, somebody who just tweeted at mm -hmm. us saying, "I'm listening from the First Nations in Upper Ontario, Canada." Wow. That sounds crazy. Freaking love Canada. His name is Julian, and uh, he said, "Hey, so hey, Julian, glad you're listening. Is this your uh, Freak, first time?" Freaking love Canada. Steam whistle, Molson beer, and Molson beer poutine. All terrible beers. And all new rip. Uh, they call them the rippers up there, the strip clubs. Rippers, all new rippers. Can <laughs> oh, Canada. So, um, I are you working tomorrow? I wish you could cut, roll by this photo shoot, dude. I am so busy tomorrow. I forgot okay. to take off of work. Um, I'm going to the Manchester City Liverpool game no at night. Where is it? It's at Yankee Stadium. No it's my first soccer game ever. I'm like stupid As, excited wow. because like okay, like for a first soccer game, like I'm so glad a few years ago I didn't go to like a Red Bulls game and like completely sure. ruined my first experience. That's like losing your virginity to like you know like a sweaty, hairy, overweight guy, mm -hmm. um, you know, and and then you kind of find like a really hot guy that you want to have sex with instead. Um, it's all about emotions, Samantha. It's not all yeah, about. It's not all about the physicality. I'm just you know. saying. I'm trying to put and it I'm in so perspective. And I'm just saying too. I'm just saying. Fine. It's like losing your virginity to you know the guy who. Gave you your burger at the McDonald's, mm -hmm. and you were just kind of desperate for sex, and you just decided that's to do I'm it in the parking lot. That, you know, no when, love. I'm just saying. First that's quickie. That's not what I'm saying. What anyway. I'm saying is when you make love to a woman, I call it making love. That oh, you know, oh, yeah, you yeah, have yeah. that emotional yeah. attachment, and uh, you know, you feel that those sparks and the rainbows and the fireworks come out. Yeah. And yeah. Why am I? Why are we reversing roles? You should be talking like me, and I should be talking like <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. This, is, like, this so, is why we work good together. So I'm going to the game tomorrow, but I forgot to take off work. So. 
I um <laughs> the game starts at seven and I'm working until six. Do you think can you, you got some pull there? Can you get I, off at like five? No, I don't think so. Easily a, a yeah, well, two and a half hour trip to Yankee I was, Stadium. No, I would say it's like an hour and twenty minutes without traffic. Hour and a half. Get out. See if you can get over there early. I can't. I'm can't? the only person oh, that's leading there. So I figure if I miss a little bit of the first half, that's fine. As long as I get there. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm it's not, a ninety minute game plus yeah, injury time. Exactly. And, and then there's like there's there's and, the time in the middle for, for intermission. Okay. So I'm gonna miss a little bit of the game, let's right. be serious, but okay. hey. Are you how, are you excited? Scale of one to ten. How excited um, are you? Um you know I think right now I'm pretty subdued about it. Um it, ten is I don't know what's a ten for you? Like meeting like David Beckham. I don't do you like David Beckham? I don't no. Know. Um, um, meeting, uh, um, um, you know, meeting one of the players. That's a ten. Oh well, it's funny actually. One of my one of my friends, he sent me like a, a screenshot today. Uh, somewhere in the city, they were doing uh like a question and answer mm-hmm. with Joe Hart, David Silva, who's like my favorite player, right. um, Kolarov, and somebody else, and you get a chance to take a picture with right. the trophy. Why didn't you go? Well, it was funny. He's like, "Oh man, are you gonna go?" And I was like, "No." Oh, you don't care? And he's like, "Really?" He's like. David Silva is like your favorite player. Yeah. I was like, I can't imagine what he's going to say that like I'm really going to be that jazzed about that I can't listen to him in like a press conference. Right, but and he was know. like, dude, you do not fangirl over anybody. And I'm like, I really don't. No, but like okay. I really, I mean, right, we, that's cool. Well, it was funny too because I was talking about it the other day. Um, Doctor Who is obviously premiering, right? And they do the whole um, now they're doing the whole Doctor Who premiere in movie theaters yes. as well, so you can watch it with like 500 of your closest fangirl friends. A movie friends. theater on like a HD, like a big movie screen, yeah, HD. which is awesome. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't want to experience it with like 50 girls in TARDIS dresses Why? screaming. They're, I just, they're from your, they're in your, no, your tribe, your clan. No, your, your, I'm not. You're cut I, from the same I am club. not in that club. I'm not in that club. You don't have a TARDIS dress? I do not have it. You were like the fifth person that asked me that. You, I do not have a TARDIS dress. A Dalek dress? I don't have a Dalek dress either. I An don't. R2D2 dress? Like no, something? No. I have no dresses. Well, I have dresses, but no like geeky dresses. You won't do it? Uh-uh. Okay. That's uh, that's cool. You're, you're so like, I said, I'm, a, I'm I, too cool for that. Well, I kind of put, it, cool I kind of put it in the perspective that when I went to see the last Harry Potter, mm-hmm. I went to see it opening night, right. first show, sure. and like everything that happened, people screamed and clapped, sure, which, was, ex- which, which was wonderful. Right. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. I really didn't care about anybody else's experience. Per, yeah, experience. So I selfish. Ca- I kind of just wanted to experience Harry myself. You know, like I, this is like this is like, like going, it's like going it, to a soccer game by yourself. Here's the thing: and with it's no one new, else in the it's stadium. It's a new doctor. I don't know what it's gonna be like. I don't feel like being there with because okay, like I'm gonna put this out there: Doctor Who fans, mm-hmm. and believe me, don't take offense be careful. to these people. Be careful. I am one of them. Yes, careful, but dude, Doctor Who fans are fucking weird. Like I'm one of them. I'm like sure. a weird person. Like, you I, are. but like, man, Doctor Who fans can get like seriously fucking sure. weird, and I just don't want to experience it with like 500 of them. Well, feeding off all the energy and uh, and and all right, you obviously oh, don't man, care about yeah, that. Yeah, man, no, okay. it's like weird. All right, it's like weird. Okay, is this game sold out? Uh, it- I'm not sure actually. Why well, you want to get tickets? No, I can't. <laughs> I can't go tomorrow. I would love to go. <laughs> I can't get, go. You can't get tickets. I gotta be at a photo shoot tomorrow. Oh yeah, true, yeah. True, true. I know how absurd does that sound, by the way. Oh, celebrity life. And um, I just wanted to, you know, I described, you know, the spread. Uh, they play music. Um, there's a whole creative team. They show you what their their sketches um, about, like what the future poster might look like. I think it's really cool. I I love the photographer. I you know I love getting my picture taken. Is it, is it just all the guys like taking cheap shots, punching you below the belt? Uh, no, unless that's what they want to do in the, oh, okay. for Cause, the creative. Because yeah. I was going to say that, the, that the I mean, generally, concept of the show, concept yeah. of the post. You know, I, you know, I love that. You know, I love attention. I'm an attention whore, all that. You know, I love all this. Yeah. Um, if you want to see three guys who would rather march to their deaths, come by the photo shoot tomorrow. I, I they believe all that. all freaking hate it. I believe Walt they, probably hates it the most. Oh, yeah, he does. He does. Uh, he doesn't um, like getting his picture taken one, but this with the professional. Yeah. Uh, but the setup the setup is awesome. You have all the you know the like the the, the flash umbrellas and the yeah. backdrop and yeah and and it's I love it. I'm not gonna lie, I love it. It's Fair great. enough. I'd probably like that. I think I'd actually rather be on the photographing side as opposed to the modeling side, though. Sure. So 
yeah and and um yeah and uh you know kate our pr person from amc comes out and makes sure everything's cool and she's all i love hanging out with her and and you get like all the weird demands that you guys ask for demand we don't need demands although <laughs> like tell your, me your vita coca tell me tell me what you think of this okay. so they sent us an email they're like all right here's a schedule um we're sending out a car to pick you up at this certain time now the photo shoot is in red bank this time it's not in new york <laughs> it's literally 10 minutes away and what and <laughs> you need to see this picture and i was and i'm like all right cool and all of a sudden all the guys are like we don't need a car uh we're gonna send them back we don't want the car and i'm like i want the car take the car take i want the, the car. car and they start giving me shit because i want a car to bring me 10 minutes to my destination and drive me back like, what's your thought on this? I think, Am I being an asshole? I think you're letting celebrity go to your head. I, I, hold on. I did not request the car. Let's let's. I speak. think you're letting celebrity go to your, let's, go well, to hold your on, head. Hold on. Cheer me out. I did not ask for the car. The car is being provided for me. Mm-hmm. This is a standard procedure mm-hmm. for, and you know, whether it's me or, or, or Andrew Lincoln for Walking Dead, whatever. Should I send the car back? Yeah. Ten minutes. Drive ten minutes yourself. Okay. Am I being an asshole by taking yes. the car? Yes. Am I? Yes. Okay. You are not Andrew Lincoln. <laughs> I'm not. I, Andrew I Lincoln isn't even Andrew Lincoln. Right. Okay, so I'm being an asshole if I Hell take the car. Yeah. I'm just let me. Pre- it, 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 I did not request the car. If I request the car, asshole. Well, I mean, Provided we were me? we were talking about how obviously VIP in town. So sure. So the pro- the production food table mm-hmm. gets amped up a bit. Oh, by by like tenfold. Yeah, exactly. So I went in there today and, mm-hmm. and saw it a lot yeah. more amped up than right. it Did usually you get it? Did is. you grab anything? Uh, well, I took my my pre potting production apple. Right. Um, a bottle of water. Right. Did you grab like uh, you didn't grab like a, a payday bar or? A, no, or... I grabbed one of those little dark chocolates. Oh, you should have. We had full candy bars there. When do I eat candy bars? I don't know. I'm just saying you can. I have one it's tiny there. piece of chocolate a day. Okay. Well, um, and there you go. All right, so I'm, all right, send the car back. So saying. send the car back. I sent I sent the car back. I wrote the email, sent the car back. Um, what I wanted to ask you, I just wanted you to see what you would what say. What I wanted to ask you though I was, I sent the fucking car back. So you have all these these like jacked up things in the production. Sure. What did you specifically ask for? What's in my like say rider? I, yeah, what's in your rider? I was asked. I was like, you know, uh, we're you know we're shooting important stuff this week. Uh, we're going out to get stuff. Is there? Do you have any special requests? Mine are pretty simple. I'm, you know, do you have any food or beverage requests? We're going out to get it. I'm like, okay, um, coconut water, a coconut water, and Skittles. That's it. I want to know about this Skittles thing with you. Okay. You told me this the other day, and I was like shocked. Okay. Why? I don't know. I, I love Skittles. I, I I love Skittles as much as the next guy, mm-hmm. but you seem to like really love Skittles. I do. There, I'm addicted to them. Little little fruity sugar bombs. Yes. <laughs> why Skittles? Why not? They um, taste great. They're they really. Why they, not like M and M's with some um, chocolate in them? I like chocolate. I like milk chocolate, but they're no Skittles. So you're like really okay. Is it the original Skittles or what about like the sour I Skittles? Uh, I prefer the sour Skittles, but I'll take any. Oh my god, like dark... I love sour Skittles. Yeah. Well, you can. They you... have like a like a, a really like um like grindy Gr- grindy what are you british all of a sudden yeah they have they like have a, a grindy they, they have like a Pippa grindy Cheerio grindy love. they got a grindy texture they're like love. they're like grainy yes they are they have the sour like sugar on them. sugar yes. exactly i love that about the sour patch kid shit on them. Yeah, yeah i love that you know we got 50 million bags up over there if you want one. <laughs> nice. i'm just i'm spreading the love i'm trying to think of what would be on mine i'm spreading the love i'm trying to think like if i was a celebrity obviously apples like that's my big thing I'm like fruit, a fucking sure, I'm sure. like a fucking apple person. There would have to be like a fruit plate, like a fruit, like you know, a platter of like cantaloupe, honeydew, grapes, watermelon, yes. all that shit. Right. But like definitely like an apple. I okay. need like a, an apple in my hand. Water. Um, Not a banana. No. Okay. Bananas I could live without. Apples now. Okay. Um, if I'm watching a TV show, sure. And there's like even the slightest like reference to an apple. Yes. And I don't have one in the house. I go into like a tailspin, having to go to like fucking quick check you know, and buy an apple. You should probably just buy the five pound bag and get it. <laughs> just with. exactly, just yeah. leave it in so, the stash for so me. So I'm pretty simple. Brian Johnson requested Mexican cokes, the ones that come in the bottle. That's, that's weird. It's not weird. It's, Mexican cokes are good. What's funny is they tell him Steve they gave me shit for posting a picture of me in a Mexican coke, and, and now he he drinks them. He religiously now. Nice. He prefers them. Nice. Yeah. So that's that's I'm, what is what does Walt ask for? Um, Coca- probably nothing. Co- no, Coca Cola. Okay. And uh, Nestle Crunch bars. Okay. Very simple. And Mike's absent. I don't know what Mike asked for. We'll have to ask him. Okay. I have to ask him. Mike, if you're listening, 
probably not. Yeah. Uh, what what do you request? Yeah, that's yeah, that's I'll I'll, I'll yeah. I think like apples. We're pretty simple. Fruit snacks. I'm a big fruit snacks person. Got fruit snacks. I didn't request them, but they're automatic. Like um, the best. Those, those Welsh's fruit snacks. Those yes. are good. Mm-hmm. But the ones I really like mm-hmm. are like it's like the white grape ones. Yeah, I think we got those. In the orange bag. I don't know. I don't know what color the bag. Is. I don't know. You have to take a picture. Usually, most people get like the blue bag, okay. and that's right. like the, the Welch's reg- run. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's like one. It's like it's like it, it's like orange. It's like white grape or something yeah. like that. Those are fantastic. Yeah. So, uh, best part about uh, any production movie or TV, the they call it the craft service table, which is where all the snacks are. Yeah. It's all shit that's bad for you. Hell yeah. Yeah. I managed to go there and get the healthiest thing. Well, you are you are very healthy. So. Well, <laughs> this week I am. Yes. So uh, I I got a I got a review from one of my biggest fans last week about our show last week. Would yeah. you like to like would you like a summary? Sure. Of the show. Uh, now, now we're both training for marathons. Yes. And so we we haven't been drinking a lot. I've well, I've cut back. I've been drinking. I cut back. <laughs> but we're not drinking. We're not really drinking the, during the show until we run clear marathons or maybe we'll oh no like obviously like next week we're gonna have to be drinking again like i'm not going until october without having like beer yeah but we cut back and we're not drinking now but we didn't drink last week no we didn't and uh we're not drinking tonight because we're doing like an abbreviated show i just came from work and i'm like literally leaving here stepping out the door and i'm going for a four mile run i love that so i'm probably gonna get like killed because it's gonna be like dark out run under lit I'm going to run around Red Bank. Okay. So it'll be... Um, Actually, I probably stand more of a chance of getting killed running around Red Bank. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. But, and, you know, if you're on Twitter, uh, you can let us know what you think uh, at MingChen37. Or, Generally, we won't care. Yeah, or at the Zen Librarian. But um, <laughs> I was pull, I was pulled aside, and I was like, hey, I listened to the show. Uh, you guys sound much better sober. Like, I really like the show you did um, last week. You guys are sober. Uh, I thought you guys were more clear. I thought your show was better. And the person who said that to me was my wife. Nice. She liked it when we don't drink. She Debbie Chen. More. She liked the show better. Debbie Chen. So she was t- probably just happy to see you sober. Shit. I'm what? Like I come home drunk. No, but she probably has been looking in the fridge. Um, <laughs> all the I beer that we a, don't I, drink. I do have a lot of beer in the fridge. Well, it's all the beer that we don't drink. Right. Yeah. yeah. You typically buy a six pack. You drink two. I drink one. So I bring yeah. home three. Like I'll give you one or two. Yeah. And generally, I'll bring them home and, like, not drink them. Yeah. So, like, yeah. Like, I had, like, a mini fridge that was, like, stocked with beer. So, I went to a barbecue and I was like, hey, guys, I'm bringing, like, five cases of yeah. beer. So, now yeah, it's empty. Yeah, she thought it was better. So, I, um, I you know. So, I, I guess that answers everybody's question as to if Debbie listens to the show. She'll, she'll tune in if she has, uh, yeah. you know, if she's not putting the kids to bed or whatever. Yeah, she'll tune in. Nice. Make sure I'm um, not putting my foot in my mouth. But I You always, always put your foot in your mouth. Right. It's, yeah. I definitely do. well hi debbie if you're listening yes we pray for you frequently <laughs> you don't, clearly you don't, you don't have to but okay no we want to you don't have to <laughs> no we don't i know we don't yes but anyways um i've i have something to thank you for this week or not thank you i'm not really sure I, i'm currently consumed with one thing this week. I put everything aside. Oh, okay. I was like, what I did put, I do? No, I put everything aside. Like, I, I and any time, any chance I get, I've been reading this book you recommended to yes. me. Yes. Over the weekend. Yes. And. Um, I just, I just want to say, people, like, who don't know my backstory, yeah. I used to be a librarian. Right. I was a damn good librarian. You still, I mean, you, I, I bet you could go back. Am. You still are, yes. <laughs> So you're liking a book that I gave yeah, you? Yeah, we were we were at a uh, eating establishment, a mm-hmm. diner, and you're like, "This reminds me of something that I read about in a book." I'm like, "Oh, which one?" And we and started talking about the premise of the book. We did, and I'm like, "That sounds badass." I have a question. Yes. Reading the book, does it remind mm-hmm. you of the diner? Yes, it does very much. So. Yes, very except much I, so. I believe obviously you've read it more recently than I do. They do say the diner is like old and shiny. It's one of the yeah. It's a it's, it's like a it's like one of those shiny. It's diners. a silver yeah. It's a yeah. silver shiny aluminum. So that's the only difference. But like the the tininess and like the very home yeah. styleness of it. It's definitely a stainless steel diner. Yeah. That, we're gonna get that killed. Is. There's an axe murderer walking in the back that's, door. That's all right. Open? That's all right. Uh, <laughs> Nick, Nick Adrian, everybody. Nick Adrian in the house. Hello, Nick. Hello, Nick. So you're liking the book. I'm loving it. Then, then the name of the book uh, is 112263, written by Stephen King. I'm a little late to the game. I believe it came out in 011. Yes, it did. 
Um, um, I've never finished it. It's like a thousand. Never pages finished. Long. Why didn't you finish? Beca- how could you? Uh, because I just like oh I, like I said when I started reading it. Like mm-hmm. I think it was like summer, and I was like, oh, this will be a great summer book. Yes. Stephen King is always a little too heavy for summer. Like on the beach. I don't think it's heavy at all. On the beach though, like if I'm on the beach, like I don't want to be thinking that okay, much. I sure. want like like one of those bad chick novels. Right. Um, and then I tried to start reading it in the winter, but mm-hmm. I was like in school and I was trying to do like serious work. Yeah. And I couldn't do it then. And wow, I just, was it, you, you were you started this book came out before we met. Yeah. That was a long time ago. So you were still mm-hmm. wow. That's crazy. Oh, everyone's really happy to know Debbie lessons. Yes. So the um, you know we're sitting there and you're telling me <laughs> the pre- are amazing. The premise of the book is uh, there's a diner in Maine mm-hmm. and the the guy who runs the diner discovers uh, in his pantry there's a wormhole, wormhole. to the year 1958. Yes. Um, I'm trying to remember the exact date. I think it's October or something. Yeah, it's like or later September, in the year. September 28, it's, it's 1958. Fall. Yeah, it's like fall. It's like rustic and fall. Yeah, and immediately had me hooked. Yeah. Like I love time travel. See, yeah, we were talking about this. Time travel is something that like eludes me. Why? Uh, because I can't wrap my head around it in a practical application. I mean, there's a whole thing with uh, Back to the Future. It's based on continuum, uh, you know, the butterfly effect, all that well, stuff. Well, yeah. And, like, I mean, like, Doctor Who, like, fixed points. Like, what denotes sure. a fixed point? Why can't you change a fixed point? I just don't understand. Fixed point. If you li- watch Lost, there's well, a thing yeah. about the constants. Yeah, like, the it, constants. And, like, one of the things that bothered me in Doctor Who mm-hmm. with, like, time travel was he, like two of his companions get sent back into the future and he can't go back to the year they were sent to because it'll like rip apart time and space yes. and like rescue them. So like my answer is why don't you just go back like a few months earlier right. and hang out and wait for them. So, But like he couldn't do that. Yeah. So like time travel kind of like there's too many rules. Sure. And I don't really like rules. Don't think about the rules. Just think about it for, you know, what it is in the story, you know, story wise, entertainment wise. Fair enough. Yes. So, so you're loving this book. What page are you on? I am on page. Let me check. But uh, the premise of the story, there's a, there's a wormhole, and uh, this dude basically goes back and to stop the Kennedy assassination. Yes. Which I is also fascinates me, because I don't. I'm fascinated with the thought that I'm perhaps not maybe not me, but maybe me could go back and change things for the better. Yeah. I'm just. I mean. I'm. I'm. I always. Ooh, shit. My ring. Um. Yeah. I, um. The show Quantum Leap. Huge fan of that. Love that show. Yeah. That's and that's all that show is about. Is yeah. you're jumping around and fixing. Yeah, things. I mean, like I, I've 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 picked up the book essentially not because of the time travel aspect, but because I really like learning about the JFK assassination. Yeah. I was in a class in college when I was a senior, and it was America in the 1960s. And my final paper, you um, you just had to write about what you thought happened during the Kennedy assassination and you just had to back it up with facts. Um, and that was like a fantastic paper to write because literally it's whatever you want it. Like if I could have said like, you came up with your own theories, like your your own Warren commission. If I said like aliens, another ax murder coming in the back door. Um, if I, if I, Hello, had said, Tom Mom, everybody, Tom Mom. If I had said like aliens killed JFK, yes. but I could back it up with facts, right? you know, I would have gotten an A on the paper. That was what like. What did brilliant. you get on the paper? Well, an A. Oh, okay. Well, you did get an A then. Yeah, but I didn't say aliens killed him. All right. Was it some remedial English class where uh, like everybody got an A? No. Where is it well written? It was like a college. class. Do you class. still have it? Can I read it? Um, I probably do somewhere. Okay. I, I just out of curiosity. I think I said. Um, uh, Lyndon B. Johnson orchestrated it, and the CIA pulled it off. Which is probably what happened. Yeah, so. it's like, I mean, legitimately, that oh, yeah. is so what no happened. Ali- oh, so you didn't, you didn't bring the aliens? No, I didn't bring okay. aliens in it. I mean, I probably could have done a spin where I said that Lyndon B. Johnson was an alien, yeah. but, you know, who needed to go there? But uh, this time portal has all these kind of rules where, uh, you know, you can go back and forth. And uh, yeah. I think the thing you also hooked me with, the, the guy who runs a diner, all his burgers are, like, super cheap. Yeah. And it turns out And I know that you are, like, a nostalgic person. Yes. So you do, like, like old-timey kind of things. Oh, yeah. So Especially the 50s. Exactly. Yeah. 50s, so, 60s, like, 70s. Yeah. So that kind of, you know, I thought you would really enjoy yeah. that. Yeah. So what he's been doing is going back in time, buying meat at 59 cents a pound, and then bringing it back to the present time. And, and he charges, like, like, literally, like, only, like, like a, a dollar. Like a dollar for a burger. And everyone's yeah. one, like, how's he doing this? Is he, like, grinding It's like cat kill? meat. Yeah. 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 And, I think um, they call it, like, his famous, like, cat burger or something like that, or rat burger or right. something. 
something weird, but it's like legitimate, like 1950, 1950s meat. Yeah. That's it. It's just, he's getting it cheap, so he's not upcharging. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, it's, you know, dude goes back, he lives in the 50s, and the, the descriptions that Stephen King gives are so vivid that, yeah, I do. I want to go back and live in the 50s. Yeah. Like, screw all this. Screw Although, right I don't know if I can live without, you know, say, podcasting and iPhones True. and all that stuff. But the thing that got me was he was like, the f- you know, he's eating food and drinking root beer, and he's like, it tastes better. Yeah, it's just like, exactly. It's amazing. He goes, yeah, he goes when he gets into the past. Um, like the first thing he does is he goes for like a root beer yes. and it's like pulled off the tap. Right. And it was like amazing because like where in this world do you go that like root beer pulled off the tap uh, tastes that can, good? You can get it. Tastes that good though. You can get it. Uh, Abita makes it, makes a, a root beer. What are you guys doing? What are you guys looking for? Cards. Oh, cards. Yeah, I threw them in. Yeah, they're in there. Right there you go. There's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, I put, that's a secret all-purpose box. I throw all podcast gear in there. Yeah, and cards. And cards. <laughs> and cards. Are you going to play? I'm going to go for a run. You should stop back after, go though, if you're going to run here. Poker? What? Yeah. Where are you guys playing poker? Right, production office. Production oh. Office. Yeah, I was just saying, you can't really Tuesday say it on here, but never mind, clearly. like They don't know where. Yeah. If you guys know where the production <laughs> office is, poker game tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom Mom, everybody. Tom Mom. Tom is the one who recommended that tripod to me, by the way. It's oh, pretty nice. Sweet. Me and I talk about tripods all the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah Tom, we, yeah. I kind of just want to walk through Ocean Grove and scream your name again. That would be great. We did that once. That. Yes, we did. I would feel that happening. Tom! <laughs> Tom! <laughs> Who's... Something... What? <laughs> like something's wrong. Something's amiss. Yeah, yo, mom, there's some crazy Portuguese and, chick outside and, screaming. And your I name. definitely <laughs> was peeking in another 15 passenger van. Oh, really? I was like, this doesn't look like production gear. Yeah. Where he was hiding the weed in the 15 passenger. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. A lot of church 15 pass vans around that. Time. And they were hiding the weed too. <laughs> and they were, they were hiding the weed too. Uh, Ocean Grove, crazy place. Yes. Tom mom, everybody. Tom mom. Tom mom. Blue juice comics is Tom mom. Tom mom. Yeah. Um, so that brings me back to an important point. You said yes. about the 50s. Mm-hmm. You said you like the 50s, 60s, 70s. If you can go back to one point in time, where would you go? I would go to... If you had to pick one. And this is including everything from the beginning of time to right now. I, I mean, is this like supposing that I, that like I could go back and kill Hitler? And all? No. That's, what, that's, tell, that's too tell him, Steve. Dave. That's, that's, what no, that, that's all they no, do. No, we're not killing Hitler, okay? So we're going back uh, for nostalgia, for fun, like what time period? Yeah, like you... we're going back to be fucking selfish and um, doing first. I would go to 1968. All my favorite bands. Like, oh, hit, my God. Hit, uh, Joplin is around. Jimi Hendrix is at oh my day. God. Zeppelin, Rush, The Stones, we're, the Beatles. We're going the same place. 68? Yeah. yeah. I would probably go like 65. Because I want to be there for the buildup of it all. Okay. I'm like such like a hippie child. Right. Uh, I mean, you've seen me. I wear like big flare bottoms and and like, you know, you've seen me wear jeans, right? I have, yes. Yeah, I wear like flare bottoms. You do? Um, I just, I, I like like hippie-esque things. I would straight be going back be to a the good 60s. You would make a good hippie. Yeah. Freaking What's like... funny is like my mother was like hippie age during the hippies. Mm-hmm. She was like real tall and thin and right. had long blonde hair. She was like a total Betty. Right. My mom hot as shit in the 60s. Oh, I, I, and I'm like, mom, you were probably like a raging hippie, right? Mm-hmm. No, my mother was like a Catholic school girl and like never did a bad thing in the 60s. I was like, dude, the 60s were wasted on you people. Oh, that's yeah that's, i'm tough can i just say this usb thing is charging my phone super quick yeah like a minute ago it was at like two percent <laughs> no one can see this but i did uh i went on a little amazon spending spree this week nothing huge i bought a uh, gopro gopro tripod i bought this uh this usb thing that you plug in it has five ports so it'll charge five devices at once yeah i like literally i walked in here my phone was at like 10 percent. it's at 80 right now and we've been here like a half hour yeah. that's like amazing yeah, what else, what else did I get? Um, uh, a I, shirt? I did. I got a shirt. I got a Tribe Called Quest shirt, which I just put up on Instagram at MingChen37 if you're interested in little things. Little things that I thought would make my life a little better. Uh, the Anderson Council uh, tweeted at us. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the name of the book? It's 112263 by yeah. Stephen King. Now, here's the thing. You told me it's 863 pages, I believe. You know, It's yeah. a usual Stephen King tome. And... I think part of the reason maybe you haven't finished it yet is because you you bought the the actual paper book. Oh my god, yes. Okay. It's like a freaking tome. It is 853 pages. I'm like, screw that. I don't want to carry a freaking war and peace around. So I bought it digitally. Fair and I, I I don't who, who who needs books these days? I don't really I don't really read. I I used to read a lot when I was a a kid up until I think about college. And yeah. I was like I just don't have time for this yeah. or whatever. 
Like I think the last. I mean, seriously, the last thing I really read. Um, I think I, I think we discussed. It. I read Steve Jobs' biography. That's, yeah. That's, that counts as a real book, right? Yeah. Before that, that, it was like maybe some Grisham. Was say, I've read all of like Michael J. Fox's biographies. That shit's like sad as hell. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So, does he talk about family ties and all that? And he back talks to the future? about he talks about like having Parkinson's a lot. Oh, well. Uh, as he should that's, as he should he has it yeah um, um and then before that, i think i read a bunch of grisham novels yeah. and other than that like not absolutely nothing so yeah. um so i'm just discovering i bought it digitally i'm reading it on my phone of all places there you go but you know if so i like between cast and calls you're like reading in the corner uh between scenes yeah i'm reading there if i'm waiting in line i'm reading if i'm eating i'm reading you it's got the great. bug you it's got great. the bug it's great having it's great having 800 page novel in this your phone. Freaking, i freaking, know i love it i know I, dude, I i i i can't I'm, i love it i can't i can't wait to get to the next one i'll be i guess i'll be done in about a week i'm reading yeah, a pretty probably. quick pace i'm on page 550 wow 564 like Holy i'm totally shit, you're almost done I'm totally engrossed in this thing nice uh, i can't put it down uh, on a side note i'm like totally engrossed in in running again yeah you are yeah like you you got into like your reading craze right here I, i'm like itching to just go run i love it I, I like i seriously i obviously everyone knows i'm like a runner you i are. talk about it but i took the winter off i i wasn't really feeling good um a lot of a lot of weird shit went wrong yeah, um, stuff going on exactly there. and it just running kind of fell by the wayside and um so i recently took it up again i'm training for another marathon so i recently took it up again did i, did I inspire you a little bit you definitely did and okay. i i liked running with you i remember running with you so i remember yeah, liking it that, yeah. yeah so uh so I recently and, you know, definitely like when you're happier in life, you want to do things that make you sure. happier. So, I mean, you know, for a while I stopped doing yoga um, and, you know, I recently started kind of going weekly again. Oh, so good. for you. Yeah, exactly. It's, so awesome. and it's just like now, like I'm, I'm like stupid excited. Like, I'm counting minutes to my next yoga class on Thursday morning. Yeah. Like it's literally but like every like free minute now and it reminds me of the way I used to be because I used to be like everything in my world revolved around when I was going running that day I run generally five or six days of the week um, which is awesome and yeah I mean like if I didn't have to take one or two days off I wouldn't I just have to because I would literally kill my body with the distance and the and the the way I run and exactly especially at the beginning I shouldn't be pushing this as hard as I am but uh like literally just every second that I'm not running right now. I'm like thinking about it. Like you said, like when you're waiting in line, you're reading and like, I'm waiting in line. I'm like, man, I could be running. And, uh, yesterday I went for my first trail run back. Yeah. Um, like and I, actual on dirt on and, dirt in the woods not easy yet and there's roots that you yep, could trip over there, like you could you could you could take a spill and die at any moment what's funny was it was it was like the most beautiful experience because i've run last year i ran the woods by my ha- uh well by my house now right. but it wasn't by my house okay. last year um and i i ran them and i got lost so many times it's not that big of a park but i just got lost and kind of turned around where you run, it's very easy to get lost. It's like a freaking labyrinth back I don't there. think it's that bad, but yeah, it's because yeah. I know it. And last year, like, like, kind of getting those trails down yes. so that I literally could, like, run them with my eyes closed. Yeah. Um, that was, like, the best part of last summer, just getting all the trails and running every single trail. I ran every inch of trail in that park. I felt bad when you stopped. I knew how much you loved it. Yeah. And you, so and I knew you had shit going on. Exactly. Was... And I, I went yesterday. I was like, I'm going to do the easy trail, which isn't actually that easy because there's like a straight vertical up in the middle it's of not it. That, it ain't that bad. It's. I've run this. It it's bad. not don't that. Let her, don't let her. It's not you, that folks. good. It ain't that um, bad. That one hill. Mm-hmm. That's a tough hill. I, I've done it twice in a row, but like I went up and then up I ran and back down, down and then and went, went back, back up. I, I'm um, not even bragging or anything, but I am. Um, yeah, Mm -hmm. it's just, it's the least favorite part of that hill. So I ran it and I got to the end and I was like, you know what? I'm going to take the tougher trails, the the actual biking trails back and make it a little longer. Um, and it's funny too, because I mean, things changed. I actually took a picture. One of the the trails, a tree had fallen across it, like not on the ground. It had fallen. So it was still like in the air. Okay. And I'm, like, looking at it. I'm, like, well, I mean, obviously, they're going to have to come clean this. But, like, I have to, like, literally pause my run to jump over a log right now. It's fun. Well, it was. That's but, a- like, for everything that changed, and the woods are constantly changing, right. everything was the same. 
Everything sure. was like weirdly like every rock, every root that I remember sticking my foot between. It like came back. Uh, there's one hill that I ran down, and it's kind of a steep hill. And you, you when you're in the woods, you definitely want to be on your game. Right. Like you really can't. You, you, you can't, can't be thinking about anything no, else. No, you have to be aware. Yeah, you have to be thinking or about else what you're, you're be doing. Like, Exactly. Bam, right I've, on your head. I've almost like fallen and broken every bone in my body probably yeah. in that place. And um, I just, I remember it, like the foot placement, the way I stepped, the way I ran it, which side I curved to, yeah. it just all came back and nothing had changed. It was the most beautiful thing that like how everything could change and nothing can change at all. I'm, I had like the most Zen experience in the woods yesterday. I probably was on LSD. It, like it was so beautiful like birds were chirping the skies were blue who needs lsd with that that's why it's kind of why I mean, I do and it. I, you know and then you see like the same people and you see bikers yeah. oh my god it was, it was such a great experience I'm glad you're, welcome everybody, back everybody just go run in the woods right now welcome just back my friend i'm woods. glad you're back one because i know you love it two it inspires me oh to my go god too, so. And we, I, ran, we ran on the boardwalk on Saturday morning. We did. That was, fun. That was one of my favorite runs recently. Yeah, coming you were back. like, yo, bitch, meet me on the boardwalk, 730. <laughs> I don't think I said it Let's like that. Let's go. Maybe I said it like that. Uh, I don't call women bitches, but I don't <laughs> tend to make that a habit. Uh, but we went. Tell and- him Steve, Dave, and Engineer said, think mm-hmm. of Ming behind you. You'll run faster. Actually, Ming usually is behind me when I'm running. Yes. And not for the obvious reasons. Yes. Because I'm f- slower. And I'm faster. <laughs> right. Right, but um, so we yeah, we went on a run on Saturday morning, and we stayed even for like the first mile, about mile, two miles, maybe mile and a half, half, and then you started pulling away, and I'm yeah. like, all right, that's you know, when am I gonna, you know, I'm I'm gonna take out my own I, pace. I'm not trying to impress anybody. I find least of all you. I find that whereas we were talking about running partners the other day, and like yeah. if we run with them, I do like running with somebody better, but only if I'm the better runner. And you are. It. In, I've run with people who are who are faster than me, and being the person behind makes me like shit i don't want to try and run faster to catch up with this person because i'm a competitive person like that's the way i'm thinking like i'm gonna have to expel this much energy but being the person in front compels me to be a better runner it's like weird i believe i believe they call it sore loser which you are (laughs) you're not a good you're you're not a you're not you're a sore loser and a bad winner (laughs) yes (laughs) yeah Yes. Absolutely, but uh, yeah, you start pulling away, and you know, you know it depends. If I don't mind people, uh, most people are faster than me. I'm not. I'm. I'm cool. You're with pretty that. fast, actually. I'm. I'm all right. Not bad for an old man. Yeah, you're pretty fast. But you know, again, it depends on who's in front of you. It's true. It makes a big difference. It's true. That's all I'm saying. It's true. And I'm, I ain't saying anything more. I just love those shorts I ran in. God. Oh, you love them or I love them, or both. Both. Uh, they were Both. very nice shorts. <laughs> they were very nice shorts. They were barely there. <laughs> Pray for Debbie. They were barely there. But I did, I think I, I mentioned, I didn't wear them, but I bought this pair of shorts at, at um, a place you used to work at. Yes. They were marked down from like 64 to $9. So I'm like, all right, I'll grab these. I and can't wait I, to see them. And I put them on. I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? They look like freaking, I look like I'm from. What color are they? They're light gray. And they're cut like the old school, like running shorts. Like, um, did I work there when you bought them? You were, yeah, I think you were there. I think I know which ones you're talking about. Okay, yeah, they're. I total, think because I remember how short they are. They're pretty, sh- yeah, they're pretty short. And I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? I, was, I think they were freaking nine bucks, is what I was thinking. Yeah, well, when things are nine bucks, yeah, I'll wear them bucks. next time just to return the favor. Just to, <laughs> thank you. Just to return the Am favor. Am I gonna see like your balls hanging out of them? Um, no, they're not that short. No, they're not. I think they were. They do sell. A, they did sell a shorter version, which I'm like, uh-uh. There's like a, <laughs> it was like four inch rise or whatever. Four inch inseam. There's a four inch inseam, which is yeah. like nothing. And I'm like, I no, no. no I got good legs, but no, no. Yeah, these are a little. These are a little more modest. I, I, I've seen still. some men. Mm-hmm. Like you know how a lot of running shorts on the sides, they're not like sewn together, so they kind of flap right. open. Yes. Yeah. No. These, men, these are those. Yeah. Yeah. No. Men. Men, 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 yes, men, men, yes. That's all I'm saying. Okay, men. Okay, uh, I don't know if you checked it out yet. Uh, I think I sent you a link. Uh, the the official Tusk trailer is available. Yes, I did. Announced at the San Diego Comic Con. Yes. on Friday night, and uh, it's available. If you have not seen it, go to TuskTheMovie.com. It is a pretty badass trailer. Yeah, I was. What I was did you think? Shocked. Of actually, the tone of the movie though. Dark. Oh yes, it is darker than I thought. Um, it is very dark. Yes. Um, this the stuff that my nightmares are made of. Uh, it may give you nightmares after you see this movie. Yes. Like I, after seeing the trailer, yeah. I kind of had nightmares. Yeah. Um, dark, uh, very, like darker than what you 
think of it when you think of Kevin Smith. Oh yeah. Like definitely a completely different like a I wouldn't even say it's I, like a veer off. I would say it's a complete like one eighty in the middle of traffic. I can't wait to see it. You're gonna love it. It's it it's something. I can't wait for anybody listening. Anybody to see, to see it. it. Just, you guys if you haven't watched like, the trailer, watch it. I'm actually yeah. curious what other people thought yeah. as well. Yeah, testthemovie.com. Um, it's it's creepy. I mean, God, even the poster, like the the little picture Moon accompanying. The, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a little creepy too. Yeah. I, um, yeah. Two things I liked about the trailer. Uh, there was a card where uh, it comes up. It says, uh, "From writer, director, and podcaster Kevin Smith." I like that. That. that that made me really happy. I like that. Uh, and then there was a line from the movie that they put in the trailer. Um, uh, Justin Long's in the movie. His girlfriend is like, I don't want you to go to Canada. And he's like, I, uh, I have to. It's for the podcast. It's what I do. I thought I was like, yeah. And I, I believe we talked about this moment that when they do the sequel, Tusk 2, right. it's going to be about uh, Ming Chen's life having to leave to go con. Con, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna Tusk, it's gonna you know, be called like Con. Yeah, exactly. It's like, called Con. Yeah, it's it, your, it's it's gonna be like your wife is your, you know, your wife. Yeah, I don't want, you, I don't want, you, I, I don't want you to go to Canada and, or, or San Francisco or you know Miami or right. wherever you're going that week. And you're gonna be like, I have to for the Con. Connecticut, San Antonio. Yeah, exactly. I have to for the Con. Right. So I, I definitely see the sequel already. Yeah. So. Watch the trailer. Watch everybody. the trailer. Have some friggin' nightmares. Yeah, movie will be out this fall. Yes. Actually, coming up quick. It's almost fall, so it's coming up quick. Yeah, movies are coming out a little quicker than I realized they yeah. were. Um, I was watching TV the other day, and I realized in a short, like, week and a half, um, the new Step Up movie is coming out. <laughs> Step Up, what, three, four? It's what? like six. What are we talking about here? It's like six. Okay. Um, and it's coming out, and I was like, stupid excited, because I six. Re- They've made six Step Wait, Up movies? Hold on. They had Step Up 1, Step Up 2, Step Up 4, Step Up 3D. Step Up 2 is The Streets. Then we had Step Up 3D. And yes. then we had Step Up Revolution. So this is like five. Okay. I'm like super excited about it. <laughs> this is like. Okay. I mean, I, I mean I, I'm. Mean, We're going I, to see it. Like, you know, you're going to see this you're with me, right? You, I mean, you're paying for this shit, but yes. <laughs> like, I'm dragging everyone I know to this Step movie. Up. I mean, you know, can can we go see Bring It On Five first? I don't know if there is a Bring It On Five, but um, or is we, there a You Got Served Three Part Three? Step Up is about dancing and right. people who have a talent. Okay, and what Bring It On is also about people who have a talent and. Uh, I've watched all the Bring It On movies. Only the first one was good. Okay. All right. I'm just saying. Okay. Yeah. Right no, on. I'm super stoked. I was I was like so happy when I realized. I generally try <sighs> not. I generally try not to watch trailers. It's nuts. Because I don't like looking forward to things that are so far in the future. Right. So I don't like really like when a new trailer comes out generally or like a teaser trailer. I like don't watch it because like who the hell wants to be teased and then have to wait for something? I'm not one of those people. Oh, hold on. What about all the teasers that came out of San Diego this week? Those were cool. I didn't watch There's like most Age of, of Ultron I know. teaser. There's I know. A, I think the there's Wonder su- Woman. The Superman Batman teaser. Yeah, out Wonder there. Woman costume, yes. which I did say. Yeah. Um, I hate Wonder Woman, so I really have nothing good to say about it. Why do you hate Wonder Woman? I don't know. Even the Linda Carter TV show? Yep. Okay. Every Wonder Woman. Well, perhaps. I also like, am a big hater of like Superman, though. Like, You've mentioned it's, this. Yeah, it's not like just a because she's a woman saving the world no. thing. Like, don't think that. Like, right. I just don't like people with powers. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I, I just, you All know. Right. That's, that's cool. Or like who wear red, white, and blue. No, because I like Captain she America. She looks good. I think, she does. I think she looks she does, actually. I have no complaints about the costume. I yeah. just probably am not going to see the movie. You're not going to see the movie? Are you going to make me? No. Is this, is this no, like, I'm not going to make you do anything. Is this like I'm dragging you to step up? You're dragging me to Wonder Woman? No, Jeff Emo and Trainer says uh, step up five uh, knee surgery. <laughs> yeah. Do they use the same cast? Yes, that's they the do, thing. So they're, they're all, all kind of Well, no. Like, the ones from one and two, mm-hmm. uh, Channing Tatum came back in the second one for like a brief. Channing, yeah, Tatum ain't coming back for number no, five. No, he's not. Especially no, no, after no. freaking Magic Mike. Exactly. And shit. He's not coming back. He didn't come back at all. He came back for like one like cameo. Okay. But then like the girl from the second one, she's coming back. And like the kid from the second one came back in like the fifth one. And he's coming back in this one. And the little girl who was like 
Channing Tatum's sister and the first one right. was in the third one and now she's going to be in this one as like an adult. It's like crazy. All it's right, all This is your Fast and the Furious. Yes. Okay. I hear yes, you. Yes. Uh, we can definitely say that. All right. Uh, speaking, going back to running, I'm sorry to yes. divert from Step Up, your excitement. I'm when sorry. is it coming out, by the way? By the way, give it a plug. When's the release date? Step Up? Yes. Oh, August 8th. August 8th. I, I'm, I'm okay, really so, actually you know, kind if, of ashamed. If, I know that. If, uh, you know, if you don't, haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy or I believe the eighth <laughs> is a, is a Turtles, right? I think the eighth is when the Turtles come out. Are we, are we, is anybody really looking forward to that? Turtles? I'm going to go see it. Yeah. Of course. I, I, can I you not? don't think that's complete blast for me from what you remember as your childhood turtles i would i will look i will watch before i judge let's put it that way fine look before i judge so you know if you don't want to see the turtles oh a tech ant runs in a cemetery what cemetery is this that, um, um I'm, I'm obviously asking this expecting a question right or an answer right now i uh, i photograph cemeteries so i'm always looking for a good yeah. new cemetery uh from uh, hyper slash canadian zero zero i saw the test trailer and i want to see it is there anybody else from the smodco network uh let's see kevin uh, Garmin, Garmin is in it. I believe that's public. Who else from the network? Uh, I I'm gonna have to think about that. Now I have a question. You just said I believe that's public. Are mm -hmm. there people in it who it's not public and you can't say? I don't. I just don't want to give anything away. Fair enough. So, I just I think most of them. Are much, you in it, Ming? I am not in it. That's okay. that does. No, I am not in it. But okay. I don't need to be in any more Kevin's movies. He can be in the greatest part ever. In dogma, you did have a good sitting part. there watching someone have to take her clothes off. Like, what's what's gonna top that? It's true. What's gonna top that? It's, it's true. I wake up every day and thank thank the thank good Lord. thank the good Lord for that. I do. Fair enough. I do. Uh, speaking of running, uh, if you listened last week or if you've been keeping up, I'm supposed to be at the San Francisco Marathon yes. this past weekend. And Heartbreak Central. I could not. Uh, at the last minute, I was told we were, we had to film this weekend, and I could not make it. I was very disappointed, especially we, we raised over five grand for the Wayne Foundation. And that's awesome. And there were people running in your staff. There, we, had, we had a team. Yes. So a big so, shout out. So like the money wasn't, you know, in vain. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. So a big shout out to uh, Nicole Corey, who is from this area. Who, yes, um, who ran the entire uh, marathon. Ran the entire 26. marathon. 26.2 miles. She did. She was a killer. She yes. was awesome. Uh, also set up the fundraiser we did down the street yes. uh, about a month ago. So she, that was a big shout out to her. Uh, our network buddy Will Wilkins is supposed to run the half. Bailed. Now I thought you said he was running it. That's what I thought too. And then I'm texting. I was like, "Hey man, how'd it go? Was it awesome?" He's like, "Well, well, I got some. I got. I got something to tell you about that." And I'm like, "What?" And he's like, "Well, now I, I would call him a puss." And but, but you I can't won't. because you bailed on it too. Number one, yes, I bailed on it too. You know, for good reason. You know, shooting comes first. Uh, he did just adopt a newborn, so you know, congratulations to him. And the, somebody the, in the store? Uh, they're over at Surf Taco banging shit. Around. Oh, okay. I was gonna uh, say, he just shit. adopted a newborn, so the kid was up all night. His wife wasn't feeling well, so Fair he enough. decided um, he was in no shape to run, so he bailed on it as well. But my friend Natalie, Natalie Muzio, who I ran she the San Francisco half earlier this year and she February. ran the half. She ran the half and she did amazing. Awesome. Very proud of her. And a uh, big shout out to her. Um, I am wondering though, Will, if you're listening, if you listen later on, or Will could pull the plug at any moment. So, but no, no, no disrespect to him. But had I shown up, do you think he would have shown up? I think he would have. I, I think he would have had to. He would have. He. I think he would have shown up. I think, I think we would have just to. talked. And I, I think I feel bad because me not showing up kind of been like, oh shoot, I don't want to go now. So yeah. Yeah, I understand that, which is why I love that you're running it because... Because I'm going to jump on your team and actually show up for races I sign up for? Well, that there's that. And just, uh, you know, like, I know you're running, so I want to kind of keep up and, you know, be kind of like, I don't want to be like a lazy it's asshole. It's just great so. having that feeling of loving it again. Yeah. You know, it's... Yeah, there's that. And for I'm, a very long time, my life revolves completely around running. And then I let it revolve around something else. And I'm glad that it doesn't anymore. Yeah. So it's... Cool. So, I'll just say that much. So this is what I'm doing. I am running the Chicago Marathon for the Wayne Foundation August 12th. Yes. That's, that'll come up in two months. I'll be raising money for that um, if anybody would care to contribute. And by August 12th, you mean October? October 12th, yes. Um, running a couple of halves before that. We tra are. Training runs. We are. Uh, We're going to run a half together. Jersey Shore half marathon. Uh, My least favorite run ever. Well, it's 30 bucks. Suck it up. I'll do it for you. Suck it up. Um, instead, it, uh, I've decided since I bailed from san francisco uh i'm looking towards the 
uh, Rock and Roll Las Vegas Marathon. Which I am considering. Okay. I mean, either way, we I'm running I'm running AC week. or I'm running Vegas, so it's going to be a gambling why not, why city. Why not do both? Um, I you don't know. Do I just both. don't want to do both. Okay. I don't want to burn myself out. Well, I mean... I don't want to burn the, myself out. I'm just saying, given the choice... Between, given the choice, I'd rather run Vegas. Exactly. Given That's the choice, my bank account would rather me run AC. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll find you a cheap flight and... Oh, you know, yeah. I'll just run there. You could do that. It's true. I actually should. Just, I get like a real shit ton long amount of vacation. I right. should just like take a car, road trip there. Actually, that's a terrible idea. You should never road trip the You're week before a marathon. You're going to get kidnapped. Yeah. Well, obviously, I would go with somebody. Okay. Want to hop on my road trip? Um. See the United you States? You want to drive there instead? Um. I would accept the flight that I booked to San Francisco. They bail and I have like credit. Oh, yeah. And I can f- now want to fly to Vegas, so. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah. I'm just saying. Fine. But cons- please consider it. I will. Be fun. I'm, I'm actually going to. It'll be fun. One uh, of my yeah. very close friends is running it too. So oh, I'm cool. Yeah. Uh, what they do is they start out uh, in the late afternoon on the strip and then you finish on the strip at night. At night. That's, which is beautiful. Yeah. yeah I'm, it's just, yeah. I'm, I, I only have one word to say to you, Samantha. Epic. Yoho. 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 Hashtag Yoho. Hashtag Yoho. I'm, that's all I'm saying. Life is short. Take. Take your shots while you can, and that's that's. Um, I'm considering that. So mm-hmm. That's 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 what I'm thinking about doing. So, I think I think maybe I would join you. Uh, it's you got a while to you got a while to uh, consider. Look it. at this, my phone is like fully charged. Yeah, an hour freaking, later, I don't that's buy, like amazing. I don't buy shit. I buy good shit. Like I amazing. buy good shit. I don't, I don't buy shit. I buy good shit. That's like amazing. Yeah. I just don't believe that. Well, you know, your birthday's coming up. You know, maybe you know, maybe I'll get you one of these little things for your birthday. That's all I'm saying. Somebody else actually, I was um, I was sneaker shopping with one of my best friends the other day, and um, I, I've I've said numerous times that I can't fully begin training in my head until I have a new pair of training shoes. And um, so I I went and I'm kind of not happy. I run with Asics. I've run with Asics my entire running career. Um. So I, I, I wanted to get Asics. Yes. I'm not really happy with Asics as a company right now because I feel like they've cheapened their product over the past few years. Okay, Asics, are you listening? <laughs> Samantha Q is not happy. I don't think Asics is very happy with me, though, so let's I mean, not. All, they're all made in China, but yeah, I, I hear you. Construction quality so, could yeah. be better. I'm, a, I'm just, an Asics man myself. It, like, I just feel like there's certain things about the shoes that they, they cheapened. Okay. Um, so I, I kind of I went to the outlets, and okay. I went – into Asics. Right. Um, and? and did you see something you liked? And I, I, I did. Okay. I, I saw a lot of things. I like tried on a lot of shoes. Went into Nike. Couldn't find a single shoe to try on. Eh, Nike, Went Nike. into Puma. Couldn't find a single shoe to try on. Went Puma into, doesn't make good running shoes. No, they don't. I was desperate. Went into like Adidas. Right. Um, I went into the Roadrunner by right. my house. I went mm-hmm. to Sneaker Factory. Right. Couldn't find a single pair of shoes that really called out to me. Um, except this pair of Asics. Right. Uh, which I bought. Nice. And um, I went running with them the other day. And, and the first run is like make or break. I've had like running shoes where I really have to break them in. Okay. And I hate that. Okay. And? Um, oh, my God. It was it was fantastic. You know how like they have gel in the, the heels? Sure. Like I really felt it. Like that sounds stupid. But um, fan- I just... Fantastic running shoes. Okay. So Anyone I have from Asics listening. We could, you know, hey, you know. Yeah. Uh, we, we yeah. Don't. After I just said they're cheapening their product. Yeah, I don't Why? think I don't think any from Asics. Yeah, listening. I don't think so. We, we could like pimp them out on on Twitter though. We will. But let's uh, let's we'll, do it in like a month and a half. Will Wilkins, will Wilkins has tweeted, and uh, your presence wouldn't have, wouldn't have changed things. I'd still have to be home to take care of the wee one. So. You so know. he was like totally serious with that tweet. So yeah. So <laughs> no, I don't. I, I no. I give him props for hanging yeah. at home. I feel bad that you know. I, I thought maybe had I been there, it's like all right, I'll come. Like I felt bad that I didn't. I felt like shit that I couldn't go, but I couldn't go. Like I did. I felt like shit. Um, but I, I also felt bad because um, I was running the full, and he was doing in San Francisco. You can either choose to do the first half or the second half. Oh man. Yeah, and he was doing the second half, and I'm like, dude, if. We could time this where we could run the second half together. Oh, that's like awesome. We were doing all the math and shit in our head. Like, it totally could have happened, and it, and it didn't. I, I was like, shoot, man. We got to make this happen some somehow. So maybe next year. Maybe next year. I'll go. I mean, I will run the San Francisco Marathon. I just don't know when. Yeah. And I, I it sucks that I couldn't do it this year. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, no. Although that I, definitely... my training was like shit. <laughs> you would have been fine. It Muscle hurt. memory. You would have been fine. It would have hurt. If I could, like, go and run four miles of, like, kind of moderately hard trails my first run back, you could run a marathon. It would have hurt. 
It would have hurt. It would have hurt a lot. Hurting for certain. It's like my favorite running hashtag. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> once you see what we shot over the weekend, which I can't I, say. I can't wait. It's going to be pretty awesome. I can't It was totally wait. worth... I mean, if we if I had to miss running the script marathon, I, I'm glad we missed it for this. And, and uh, you did get to run with me. What day was that? That was Saturday. Which you wouldn't Saturday have been morning. able to. No. Exactly. So you got like a good run in with me. That worked out good. Yeah. Although that was yeah. like a great run, actually. Oh, it's fun. Although, um, so you're like, all right, let's go. We we'll go, you know, about five miles. I'm like, all right. So we're running, and you're ahead of me, and you stopped at five and a half. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, why not just go for the whole six? Um, because I didn't want to push it. Really, you felt like you were pushing it? No. I didn't. <laughs> we should have gone six. We should have gone six. Yeah. Do you want to run a half mile outside now? I would. I'm gonna play poker now, though. That's true. I'm gonna win some money. I'm gonna go run. Okay. <laughs> we do that. But thank you, everybody, for joining us for the yeah, special. For this was an abbreviated decision, uh, um, uh, episode. Of yes, since we missed show. yesterday. Um, we're both like super, super busy. Trying not to make it a habit, but uh, yeah. exception, exception. I do. For this my week. boss actually, she calls up to the. Uh, I was, I was on the floor yesterday. She's making the schedule for. We have a very busy August. We have yeah. two like store flips, you know. So she goes, Sam. She goes, Monday nights. Mm-hmm. She goes, is that like a make or break availability? And I was like, I'm on the phone. And I'm like, this is my boss asking yes. me this. I'm like, um. She's like, if I could tell you like three weeks in advance right. that I need you to work mm-hmm. on a Monday, she's like, would you be okay with that? Right. I was like, has to be three weeks in advance. No, I mean, that's the whole beauty of this. We don't have to go at 6.30 well, if then, you want to come by yeah. roll by after work. I and was saying do it at And then nine. I like, I, I hung up the phone and I was like, called her back and I was like, you can schedule me whenever you want. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like really fine. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So, uh, but yeah, abbreviated, Ming is going to go lose money. I don't. I don't I came I'm, in, I'm gonna I, go. It came in second last. Lose week. a lot of sweat. Okay, just please be careful. Oh, well, I'm gonna run around Rye Bank. Okay, I'm gonna run up and down the streets. You know how much I love that run. I do. Uh, real quick, uh, you know we podcast together. Yeah. Uh, you know, in the future, you may go off and maybe launch your own podcast, your own network. No, probably not. Um, is is there an age? Uh, you know, say you podcast with someone. Uh, is there an age where it might be inappropriate? Where you're like, that guy's too old to be podcasting with. Um, you know, you're a young woman, you know, say, uh, say you want, um, possibly with a 65 year old dude, would that be weird? Well, it depends if he was like an awesome 65 year old dude. Like if I can get Sean Connery podcasting with me, okay. like do, do you think Sean Connery is too old for me to podcast with? No, absolutely not. Exactly. So I mean, like if he's like geriatric, that would be like weird. Just saying I'm almost crossing into that territory and I'm glad you feel this way. You, you, you have a birthday coming up. I do. I'm trying to deny it, but then I'm starting to accept it. I, I know that you're like seriously depressed about this. I am. It's just. Will wants to know where's the next fold that they also offer. Uh, most of them do that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, rock and roll Vegas, bro. Rock and roll Let's Vegas. Let's go, dude. They start Will. at the same time. Will. Will. Rock and roll, rock and roll Vegas. Vegas. November 17th. I will be there. Sam Q will hopefully be, be there. there. <laughs> um, Sam Aurelio will be there. Hopefully mm-hmm. running with us. Uh, our friend Nina will be there. Running the, she was the whole inspiration. Yeah, the she's thing. the whole five before thirty. Yeah, dude, man, post post party at the Palms, man. We'll go up to the freaking Ghost Bar, fucking baller style. Yeah, we'll go get steaks at at at, at the at Paris or the Bellagio, dude. Steaks, steaks man. Hashtag steaks. steaks. We'll, go, we'll go party at light. You know what? We'll, we'll, yeah, steaks. Yeah, we'll do that thing like at the end of Ocean's Eleven where we can stand by the fountains and, and we can all like walk away one. slowly. Yeah. Oh my God, who's go, staying? Well, who's um, staying longer? You or me? Obviously, you. No, you can you can be the last no, one. No, no. You can be Brad Pitt or was it Clooney that left last? I can't remember. I think it was Brad Pitt. Oh shit, no. Who was we'll it? Oh, no, it wasn't it the old guy? Uh, or did Saul? the did, uh, was no. it Ernest Borg or not? He left Borg, like man. first. Um, what's it? Well, yeah. He did. Shit, who was it? And I'm obviously the amazing Yen. It wasn't so. George Clooney cuz he was in prison. That's right, he was in prison. So I'm going to say it's Brad Pitt, but I don't know. Somebody help us out on this. Yeah. So so we pop in the TV day and watch. Anyways, yes, I'll be. uh, When we talk next week, I'll be a year older. So, woo! You won't be a year older. You'll be five days older. Yeah, and I'll yeah. No, I'm three days older. Three. Well, it'll be three days. It's like six days till our next podcast. Yes. So yeah, three days older. No, I mean from now you'll be. From what you are now to next (laughs) week, you'll be five days older. I will. Yes. 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 So, so, yeah, that's not bad. Five days. Psh. All right. I usually age seven days between our podcasts. Okay. All right. <laughs>
Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Everybody we, we wish, wish, love you all. wish Ming a happy birthday. You don't and have to do that. No, everybody's going to wish you a happy birthday you on your birthday. That. Okay. And um, Photoshop some some fun things. You know, you Photoshop that. And um, yeah. I, th- I was talking about that. I know you were. Do it. Will Wheaton does the thing where he puts a picture of himself and people can like Photoshop right. things behind they him. Photoshop cocks and stuff. No. Ever- well, I mean, maybe. He just doesn't retweet them. But everyone's like really funny about what they like tweet yes. at him and like Photoshop with him. I right. think we should do one of those with you personally. Uh, okay. <laughs> You're just like, okay. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Okay. All right. I'm going to go win some money. You have a great run. Yeah. Thank Maybe you. I'll win some money and um, on my run. I don't know how you're going to do that. But Rob a bank. That's, crime doesn't pay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank very you, much, everybody, everybody, for our abbreviated Yeah. We'll talk to you next week. Session. Goodbye, Samantha Q. Goodbye, Ming Chen. Thanks Chan. for being here. Thanks for being you. Thanks for being you. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to you next week. This has been a production of Smodco Internet Radio.